this tutorial is about integrating Jenkins with the QTest. Go to admin settings, automation settings. Enable the activation settings and then add the mappings like pass, past, fail, fail. Most of the times you can keep the defaults. This studio release is for evaluation purpose using the demo version. Just click on administration automation settings and activate the relevant status. Choose add mapping to add the QTest statuses to the actual statuses. Check the integration related various activation settings and observe the related settings and activate them. You can select which project you want to select for integrating with it. Here I selected a kind of sample project because it will have the test data. Open the Jenkins. Please check my other tutorials related to the Jenkins software installation. Here open the Jenkins and click on the manage Jenkins and then click on manage plugins in Jenkins every integration is managed via the plugins so check the plugins and install the required plugin for the QTest integration here check the installed plugins if you see QTest related plugins already, you need not do anything. If not, you should install them. Click on available plugins and search for QTest. There you can observe the one plugin related to QTest, select them, select it and click on the install. Keep the defaults as it is unless until you want to change to something, you can observe the installation progress. After finishing it, just go back to that and then click on Manage Jenkins and click on Manage Plugins. Now click on the Installed tab and observe whether the QTest plugin is available or not now. Here you can see QTest plugin which you got installed.
click on the resources click on the QTest integrations there you can see the option like QTest integration with the Jer Jenkins there you can find the API token as well integration with bamboo all the settings you can find from there Check Jenkins integration documentation from the resources tab. You can click on the create new jobs to get started. You can give any name. Here you can maintain your settings related to source code, build, and whatever you want. Submit J unit test results to Q unit. You can see that option over there. When you select that, submit you, you, J unit test is to QTest option. Then you need to provide the QTest URL API key, all this from the data which you selected when you navigate through the QTest resources option. Give the QTest URL here. and the API key as well Now check whether is it a valid key or not. Then it will list out all the projects available from the Q test and select the relevant project from there. And you can select the available releases from that particular Q test project. And you can observe the all the options available which are self-explanatory can select the required uh, options and click on apply now you can see the new recreated item it retries projects releases to which you can Submit J unit results. Click on build now from the Jenkins and click on QTest plugin
let's show, show the blue story you can observe the build one and with status changes and all the information You can evaluate the builds generator trigger the test cases with uh, actual status in QTest or not. And whether it populated the fields related to Jenkins automatically or not. It is useful and important shape for reporting purpose. Whenever you are evaluating the QTest, always try to do this integration or use of the Jenkins with the QTest. This is the end of the tutorials. Integrating Jenkins with the QTest. And please stay tuned to this channel and please subscribe to Vasavi channel by clicking on the subscribe button below the video or by clicking on the Freshers World logo within the video. Please visit FreshersWorld.com for regular job postings. Thank you for watching this video.